Cheers, everyone. Welcome back. We are back today with another success story from the Law of Attraction subreddit. So, again, back at the Law of Attraction subreddit, there's some good success stories on here. I feel like this subreddit is picking up momentum. There's a lot of discussion in the Neville Goddard subreddit, which I do a lot of success story breakdowns covering. This one is interesting because it involves scripting and I like it because, well, let's just get into it and you'll see, and I'll, I'll talk about it as well. So the success story is I use this technique, um, I don't know if anybody made this before me, but all, anyways, I manifested a lot of things with this technique. One example is when I had a midterm exam that I only had a day to study for it. I did this technique before going to the exam. When I did the exam, the questions were so hard and it had me panicking because I manifested that the questions would be easy, but they weren't. But I also manifested that all the questions that I guess on will be correct. So that part gave me hope. And so I just went on about my day and had a firm belief that I will get 90% on my exam. I was certain of it and I had faith and trust in my manifesting abilities and the universe slash God. And guess what? I got an 86%. I know it's not a 90%, but it's very close. And I was extremely happy because I had only had a day to study and the test was really hard. So anyways, here is the technique. It's a writing technique. So I get out a pen and paper. You can type on a document. I write on my iPad. So anything is fine. Just as long as you're writing stuff down, you can eventually just verbally say these things too, I guess. And we're noting that they say, I guess, because later on in this, we're going to see that once they engage themselves in the writing technique, they drop it from their awareness. So we will see that this is different than, let's say, a robotic affirmation technique. But so one, write down the thing you want in future tense. Make sure you get every single detail in there. Example, I will get a 90% on my exam. I will get every single question right. The test will be extremely easy. Now write the same stuff, except write it in the present tense. Example, I got 90% on my exam. I got every single question right. The test was so easy. Three, now. You'll be making a fake journal entry type of thing. Pretend that what you manifested already happened. You're going to be acting like you're writing the, in a journal, but just being very happy and grateful that this thing happened to you. This is when you use your feelings and emotions to actually feel as if it already happened. Act as if it's real. If you are generally not an excited person, then don't write all excitedly because that's not how you would naturally react. Write it exactly how you would react if it were actually to happen. I get excited easily, so I always write with a lot of emotion. I'm not going to write what I actually wrote because I feel like it's a little embarrassing <laughs> with a, you know, one of those embarrassed face emojis. But basically, I thanked God slash the universe and was just super grateful for my manifesting abilities. Okay, extra tips. I listen to subliminals. This is optional, of course. I manifest without the subliminals as well. And two, once you write it down, forget it. It's been done. You already have gotten what you want. Don't stress over it. Have the firm belief in your ability to manifest because you are a powerful person. The universe is always blessing and protecting you. Conclusion, thank you for reading. Just wanted to share this because I really want everyone to get what they want. And I like helping people. I hope this helps. So the top comment here says, I like the idea of writing in both tenses. Sometimes when I jump right to the present as if it already happened, it feels fake. Thanks for sharing. So somebody else said, your writing style of manifesting is what they teach in the 369 method. May I ask who teaches this? First time I ever heard about that method. Have you had success with it? Um, yeah, it's a, and I've been researching this as well because I'm writing this book, but it says it's three times in the morning, um, write as if it is happening in the present tense six times in the afternoon, and write as if it's already done while giving gratitude nine times before you sleep. That is a variation of the technique. I think the, the crux of the technique is doing it three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, and nine times before bed. And I've heard other variations that don't necessarily do future, present, past tense, but that's an interesting 
way of doing that in as well. So this is so now this is here we got an interesting comment here. Um, well, somebody else said, I find gratitude is the key. I feel great gratitude for little things I enjoy. The universe is getting a straight message. More of that, please. I feel gratitude for things that haven't happened yet, which in turn makes them happen. I trained my brain to do this. I started replacing negative thoughts with gratitude for random things. And in time, I was able to just tap into the feeling without needing a cause. It did wonders for my well-being, and it's a fantastic resource for manifestation. Okay, so this is the comment I wanted to see, uh, read here. This is great. Scripting out loud to a mirror or writing in a journal has given me super fast results. I would say if you are after something, be specific. I personally have kept scripting each day for a period of time and had remarkable results. I used to script at lunch and in the evening for things I wanted and quickly, and six to eight weeks, things would happen, but then small details would often occur months later, the lesser facts. For instance, in one, I scripted walking to my home and throwing a brown satchel bag in the corner of the room. It was just to add detail. Well, after what I scripted for had happened, maybe a year later, I found myself drawn to a brown satchel bag in a shop while traveling and bought it, even though it was much more than I would normally spend. I seemed magnetized to it. Months later, it dawned on me, it's the same as the script. Happy scripting, let's do this. Yeah, that is pretty cool. And I've talked about this in some of these other, um, some of these other posts. We've talked about this idea of a, picking something, a goal. Like, let's say this is a interesting example, but throwing a brown satchel bag down in your new bedroom. Okay, but let's say that uh, your goal was to manifest a new bedroom. But even just the act of throwing down a bag, it's a strange example, but doing that or redecorating the room or or um something like that that presupposes the fulfillment for example one of the examples i use was let's say you want that relationship right well, instead of manifesting the relationship maybe you begin to think from the end of picking out which uh travel destination you want to go to or which hotel you want to go to with your partner right when you begin to imagine or script that or affirm that now it is presupposed that you already have that relationship because now you're planning out this trip with the person, right? So yeah, now I just wanted to touch on the fact that, you know, everybody in law of assumption and Neville talks about, it has to have already been done. You know, it has to be from the wish fulfilled. Well, a lot of people have achieved success. Emil Kue uses, every day I'm getting better and better. Um, Scott Adams uses I, Scott Adams, am a famous cartoonist or syndicated cartoonist. So using that future tense, Michael, Mike, Michael Phelps, another interesting thing that he does is from the visualization perspective, he will imagine himself in various different scenarios. He will imagine himself from the first person. He will imagine himself as if he's watching himself from the stands. He will imagine himself in all kinds of scenarios, even when he's messing up and how he gets out of a situation in which he messed up while he's uh, swimming in the race so that he kind of covers all these different bases. And that's an interesting way, an interesting way of thinking about this is that if your mind has any objections to, oh yeah, I just am X desire already, which a lot of us do then you can write it down in the future tense. I am I will get this 90% of my exam. I will get this result that I'm looking for. I will get this person. Um, I will get this amount of money. I will create success in this area of my life. And now your mind doesn't have this objection. If you're trying to just force, brute force this, I am already have th this desire, Sometimes that can be, again, objectionable to the logical mind. It's all about working with the mind and using what works for us. So this is cool because now we get to do it from the future tense. I'm going to get this. I'm, I got this and this past tense, writing this letter, writing this journal entry that is 
expressing the gratitude. Yeah, I'm so grateful that I was able to achieve this result. I'm so grateful I was able to get this on my exam. So grateful that we were able to go on this trip, me and my partner, we were able to travel to, to France, whatever. So grateful for my success in my business. And now you have covered all those bases. So even if your mind, even if there is some sort of logical uh, grappling of the mind and kind of objection that the mind gives to doing that, uh, one of any one of these, well, you've done the other ones too. So now you've, again, covered all of your bases there. So I like this technique. Um, I personally have had success ver using various scripting techniques. One of them that with the past tense with the letter is I actually wrote myself a letter from my girlfriend who I didn't have at the time. And I actually have a right now even, and I don't have it on me, I guess maybe in a future video, I may show it to you guys. It's, um, but it is a letter that my girlfriend wrote to me that is very, very strikingly similar to the letter that I wrote myself, right? So that is another exercise you can do. But these types of journal entries where you are thanking, thankful of the fulfillment, or in that case, that letter technique, um, or that note technique, it can be it can be incredibly powerful because you're getting into that state where you are looking and now you're reading the words on the paper or you know and especially if you're somebody that already journals and you have this habit of doing this, which you know I, I highly recommend. It's an incredible tool for self development, for growth, and for manifesting purposes. Um, when you're doing that, you're looking at that like wow, you're you're feeling like they said you're feeling this feeling as if and, and again, the act of scripting is physicalizing something. I've talked about in a recent video that taking action is the embodiment of that. And doing a scripting practice is an action. So now you've physicalized it. Now it is written on this piece of paper that you have achieved this. And so that has made it more concrete. You've used the mental, you put the mental onto paper, onto the physical. That is a manifestation in of, in of itself. So... Um, Anyways, guys, much love as always. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Drop this with a like. Hit me with a subscribe if you've not already done so. And I will see you guys in the next video.